brand new FIFA 17 video today. Today, as uh, as you might know, Footmus has arrived on FIFA, and with it has come, you know, special packs, other cool things, but also um, interesting squad builder challenges, which I'll take you to now. If you haven't already seen them, they're interesting for a few reasons. First of all, we've got three of them today. The first one being an 85 rated Daniele De Rossi. We've also got an 86 uh, Rufier, which I do believe he got a Team of the Week card quite recently, didn't he? So this is a... Because I think he was... I don't know. It may, it may, I don't know. Maybe. Because I think he was boosted to an 85 and this is plus one. Either way. And sudden segue. So here we are. Um, the, this is a bit random, but uh, whilst editing the video you're seeing currently, you know, doing thumbnail bits and such, um, I came across something quite interesting. You may not care about this, but I, I thought it'd be um, a little bit interesting to tie into what I was saying about Rufier, how... Okay, so the thought process behind what I was saying was, um, I believe Rufier was 84 rated, hence an inform being 85, this card being 86, that seems quite logical. Whereas, in fact, he's actually 85, his inform is 86, and um, this card is also 86 rated as well. Off the bat, you'd imagine this purple card or this blue and purple card is exactly the same to the inform, where you've probably guessed it, I'm going to say it's not. And um, if we have a look, so he's got 85 diving compared to his inform has 86. So his inform is better in, in that stat. 87 handling, the same. 81 kicking to 80 kicking on his inform. 90 reflexes to 90, 48 speed to 50 speed, 85 positioning to 86. So I don't, I don't understand. I just don't, I just don't understand. So why wouldn't they give Rufier an 87 card? I, I just don't, I don't get it. I don't get how this card can be worse in some stats but better in others than his inform card. To me, that just that just makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. So, Rufier, fun fact. I can't be asked. <laughs> Cannot be asked. And then, of course, we do have Marco Parolo with an 84 rated special card. It looks incredible as well. Everything basically around 80 besides pace, but that can be uh, sorted with, you know, various chemistry styles. So, there is our three players today. Um... The reason why these are quite interesting is because we have 19 hours remaining to do these. Um, so when you're seeing these, these have already finished, no doubt. And uh, the next ones or whatever is going to be after these is uh, is ho is hopefully here. So whether or not it's like kits, uh, packs, coins or more special players, hopefully they don't do, um, you know, day after day of just continuous special players because... If we jump into the De Rossi one, you can see the requirements are 84 rating, which isn't too bad. Calcio A players, minimum of two, which isn't too bad. Team of the Week players plus Movember players, minimum of four with 80 chemistry, which isn't too bad. So everyone who had those Movember cards and discarded them, you can't see, but I'm pointing to myself, uh, you know, kind of looks like a bit of a fool. So... You know, that kind of sucks. That really, really sucks. I only kept the ones that I packed and the duplicates I stored to the transfer list and waited for, you know, like, when was it? A few weeks, possibly. And saw there was nothing coming out for them. So I got rid of them, I just discarded them. And uh, it kind of, kind of sucks. But anyway, in goal, we do have the Movember Hop... <laughs> Hop, hop. I don't know how. Uh, hop, hop. There we go. Seventy-three rated Movember hop. Uh, I bought for ten thousand coins, which is just stupid. Um, also got Sandro, Miranda, Barzagli, Licksteiner, De Rossi, Suso. Inform. We got Ava Benega. Inform. Silver goalkeeper. Schwolo. I think I think I know that. So the silver inform as well. We also got Perotti inform and um, Backer as the striker. So you know it's not the cheapest squad in the world because obviously um, if we have a look, so he's eight point six k, twenty 
22k and Barzagli is 24,000 coins. Benegal is 4.2, which isn't too bad for an 84 rated player, uh, which is very, very helpful. Backer was 7.9. I think I overpaid for him, so, you know, kind of ignore that. But either way, this squad itself cost me about... Probably in total, we'll say about 60,000 coins. Um, the informs I already had, so, you know, there's no cost given for those. Um, so, yeah, about 60,000 coins for for a De Rossi special card, which I'll take and uh, will uh, complete. His card looks incredible. Really, really, really good. So, De Rossi has been completed. 71 pace, 75 dribbling, uh, 68 shooting, 78 passing, 86 physical with 85 defending. Hopefully, with these, you know, special cards, I can now build, like, a Syria team. So, of course, i got the Buffon card, so... It's uh, more reason to do that. One out of uh, one out of three completed. Now we'll go on to Rufia. The, the the Rossi card was probably the most challenging squad builder challenge out of all of them. Um, the next two aren't too difficult. They're just you know a little bit more well not more but you know expensive as well. So this one is uh, you need player quality exactly gold. We've got rare players exactly nine. Team of the week players, minimum of two, and 90 chemistry. So, you know, it's not very difficult. Um, we've got two informs. This guy from, I believe, the current team of the week, uh, Jorgensen. Don't know how you pronounce that with that special O, but we'll, uh, we've got him up top. Then we've got uh, Castillo, the Chilean inform from the previous team of the week. And the rest of the team is just BPL... Super links or hyperlinks or just strong links uh, wherever I could find them. So it's pretty much it's pretty much that standard standard stuff. Not very difficult, not very difficult at all. Uh, it's just you know if you have to buy the informs, they're going to be like twenty thousand coins for the eighty-one rated. Um, I think eighty-one rated. How much did I buy? I bought. Okay, I didn't buy Castillo. I didn't buy this guy either. So if we have a look at Castillo. Real quick, how much does he go for? 70,000 coins, wow, that's crazy. Uh, <laughs> he goes for 17, 30, you could probably get him for about 15,000 coins if you're lucky. So, you know, 15,000 coins, I imagine he's probably about the same. 30k in total, and if you've got the rest of the players, it's just plain sailing. So, we'll complete that, get a pretty pointless 86 rated Rufier, which as previously mentioned, does look incredible with uh, 85 diving, 90 reflexes, 87 handling, 81 kicking, 86 positioning, and 48 speed. How well he plays in game is another question. I suppose same could be said for like uh, Buffon, which I'm still anticipating, but hopefully, ho you know, hopefully he plays well. Um, and there we go. Two out of three have been complete. It's, what was it? Very similar to the... Um, the Scream cards back, you know, when they were released. All right, so on to Marco Parolo. This one is pretty simple as well. I need to go get myself a certain player, but... Um, okay, so for this one, you need 84 rating, two Italian players, three Team of the Week players minimum, with 80 chemistry, and 11 players as a standard. So, I don't really know what it is, to be honest, but we've got... Um, Hugo Lloris, we've got um, Mascherano, Aspilicueta, Isco, Gomez, Gomez, uh, Tyson in the centre mid, and we've also got Serna as our first in form for the uh, for the right back. We've also got Candreva, this guy Simeone, Simone. I don't I don't know how you pronounce it. But we've got him, but we've got him up top as our striker, the uh, silver in form. And then we've got Orellana as the left wing. So the last player we, we only need is a gold Premier League centre-back by the name of Ogbonna. So put him straight into the team. And that should hopefully... What am I? Okay, okay, right. So we'll have to convert. I didn't really want to do this, but I suppose because he hasn't got loyalty, most of these players... Um, that kind of screws things up. So we'll convert Isco down to a CM as well. And that should hopefully 
complete the squad. And there we go. So there has been the last one completed. Well, uh, I mean, this one is pretty self-explanatory. Um, it's just, I for me, I found it quite difficult working out, you know, chemistry-wise, because I was always too short. Even if I did, like, convert the two cams to a CM, I was always, I was always two chemistry points short. So it was really difficult to find, like, what worked. I was trying to find, like, perfect links that would work, but that didn't help at all. So um, for me, this is how I I worked around it with the team of the week with the team of the week players that I used, and uh, yeah, so I'm quite happy with with the outcome. Either way, we'll complete this one, and um, we'll get rid of it. That that squad itself didn't really cost me too much. Like I mentioned, the last two, the Ruffier and the Parolo, were not as expensive as the De Rossi. For me anyway at least. Of course it depends on how you're going to build them. But um, this one cost me about 30,000 coins in total. Which you know I, I'm very very happy with. Basically an inform Parolo. With uh, just I mean that card is just insane. 75 pace, 82 dribbling, 82 shooting with 80 physical. 83 passing with 84 physical just looks insane absolutely insane so we'll uh, we'll put him straight to the club and um we'll go quickly have a look at these cards so we'll put them into a into a team okay so there we go there has been the squad building challenges for today of course as you can see on screen this is my team of all of my special cards currently unlocked through SBCs in um, in FIFA 17. Got Buffon, Giovinco, Mario Gaspar, Payet, Barry, Perbe or Perbet. Not sure how you pronounce it. Of course, have Lacazette, Jonas, uh, Costa, and then of course the new additions of Ruffier, De Rossi, and Parolo. Still yet to get the Eto and the. But yeah, I'm not really too bothered about those two. So. There we have it. Hopefully you have enjoyed this video. Like always, hopefully, you know, if this is, um, you know, helped you uh, make your squad building challenges any more cheap, then uh, that, that that's definitely the purpose of this video. It's probably not because I don't really, I'm not looking for the cheapest option. So I can't imagine that will come across too well in the video. But either way, we have completed them. Of course, what lies for tomorrow is another question they do run till january the 3rd i do believe so what we'll get tomorrow is another question if it is more players of course i'll try and complete them as quickly as possible to show you how how i do them and not how they're meant to be done but how i do them and how i probably screw things up so either way hopefully you have enjoyed this video thank you very much for watching and as always until next time.